This is probably gonna hurt. Oh yeah, <laughs> it works. Okay, boo boo. We're gonna cut some rebar today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use Sam's and Ramon's property this year for some bee yards. I like to put about 30 colonies in both. So we're gonna try to figure out our temporary bear fences today. We're just gonna set up a little mock fence just to start getting comfortable with it. Get an idea of how we should set it up in the future. What do you say, four feet? I don't know. Now I'm thinking, is it five? I think five, five four, four feet foot. or four, five feet. Can you cut some four foot sections? Let's see how we like that. Take one, chunk it up into five pieces. I think five, four foot. Remember what they say, mark once, Cut once, ask once, in that order. Papa. Don't go. Is that from the Patriot? <laughs> it is from the Patriot. When I have a family, I will not hide behind them. Then he said, boom, roasted. They should match up. Perfectly. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's just a little longer. Yeah, they, give, they must give you just a little bit extra. Two inches? No. That's like five inches, right? <laughs> two inches, bruh. Two inches! I know my two inches. <laughs> we gotta get all like the connectors and stuff out of the... Out of the... the <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Out of the uh, box that had the chargers in. What gauge wire is this, Ramon? 12. Wow. I think it is. Good job, Ramon. Remember, Chad. What am I looking for here? For outdoor applications, we always use tin copper wire. Great. How's it going? You. Yeah. Ramon, can you find me a, a blasted box? That's a good box. So we're basically just gonna mount that charger in a box. Yeah, let me just step these in real quick. Go for it. We can drill some holes. The positive to the negative. Is there a way to do this better? Yes. Am I going to do it? No. Is it or the one inch? Yes. Mm -hmm. That fit on these. So. Are they bending at all? Can you tell? No. Okay. How deep are these supposed to be going in? Mm-hmm. I think so. How deep should we uh, put these in? A foot? Um, I'll just eyeball it. I mean, just. Like, how tall do you actually want them? Because it would be like three feet? Yeah. Now, will this come back out? <laughs> no. Ramon does have hammer shark hands. How big do we want to mock this up? Small? Like literally a small box? Boxy. Like that? Boxy. Bruv. <laughs> yes. I sunk him like less than a foot just because we're gonna yeah, pull him back say, out, but I yeah. Mean, we don't need it. Yeah. I mean, no, but they actually, they sink pretty easily. I mean, yeah, look at that. Try to move that thing. You like that? Z negative to Z positive. Z positive to Z negative. Now how do we connect this to the fence? Do we just wrap poly wire around this? And then what do we do to ground it? Sure, with insulated underground 12 gauge cable. We don't have that. We don't have everything to hook it up. We need some of that the insulated wire that we have at Doolin. Um We don't have any in the pump house? I don't know. I assumed every, all that stuff was at dual one. Is that all we're missing? Uh, I think that charger should be fused from the battery just so the battery doesn't blast our charger. But that's it. You have some of this wire. <sighs> that blows up. Where's the end? Now say cheese. <laughs> all right. Let's put some insulators on there, run a strand. Oh, oh, I hate wires. Loose wires, loose wires. No zip ties. What goes on there? Z negative to zip. Yeah. <laughs> this? Yeah. Oh, is it left? Chad, watch this footage back in four months and tell me where I dropped that ball. To find it the best way I know how, losing the other one. Cut it. Oh! Gosh, 
a strategy. It works every time. Where the f*** does this go? The back of this? Through this? I'm just gonna ground this thing on the stick. It's not how you're supposed to do it, but... He said, just get it working. I'm just gonna get it working. I just cut this and tie it? Oh, you want the whole thing, Jars? Yeah. Yeah, just leave it like that. Z positive, the Z negative. You got the fence tester? Yeah. You don't want to just grab it? Uh, I've been shocked too many times. The shocking? Yeah. What's it shocking at? 3.3 kilovolt. 3.3? Jordan! It also isn't grounded very well. These aren't sunglasses. How goes it? Shocks. It's good? That was at three earlier. Now it's going down. Will it scare off a bear? No. First of all, it needs the actual tension on the strand. Ow. There we go. Um, these are on backwards. Huh? The rebar goes through the hole. You lied to me. I never used them before. I wonder why those are so floppy. Yeah, it goes like that. That makes sense. Give you 10 bucks if you put your tongue on it. I'm good. Now we go home. Clean up, clean up. Everybody clap your hands. Uh, what was the verdict with the setup they got? Um, it's crap, but it's fine. They'll figure it out. If you can touch it with your hand and it doesn't bother you, it's not a good sign. It's not gonna do anything. That's why we're setting up an educational, experimental um, bee yard fence, I should say. Oh man. Okay, well. Caleb, you smell like a skunk. All right, you guys want to try to hook this up real fast? E. Oh, I'll get the the ya yeet, as they say. Caleb, what is this? Why are you doing it like that? How does this work again? I could also just go get a hammer. No. Sam, you're setting this up. Um, on a bottom board, or? Um, I mean, I think that's how you're supposed to do it, but I don't see Get away from me, man! Gosh, you're so gross! Why are you so wet? All the time! <sighs> oh, I smell like a skunk now. He touched me in an instant. Uh, Ooh, thank you. Uh, Can you strip a little bit of the ends of that thing? Uh -huh. Yeah, we won't be using the rebar is corner posts either, but I think we can do that just for this. What are we using for corner posts? T posts. T -posts? Yeah. Just want to make sure this thing is working the way I think it does, and it's shocking pretty hard. I wouldn't do it like that. You could do it that way, but I wouldn't do it that way. Do not use standard household or contractor gauge grade insulated wiring for underground wiring that is only insulated up to 240 volts, which is well below the effective operational voltage of a fence charger. Fence charger operates well as a range using the second wire result in fence charging ground and rendering ineffective. Uh, we should use the yeah. wires in the back of the mule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fine though for this. Okay. <laughs> Are you waiting for me to cut right through yeah, it? Yeah, I thought you were going to. I, I was like, no, I'm not even going to say anything. I think he knows what he's doing. I don't. <laughs> this is your new home. This is my new home. Can you lay in here? Do you have enough space? <laughs> Ow. Oh. oh, my hip. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, help him. Help him. We gotta help him. Help him. Help him. Oh. Help him. Help him. <laughs> Caleb, get in on this. Caleb, get in on this. Caleb, look right here. Look, Caleb, 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 look. Caleb help doesn't him. want to mess with me. Help him. He knows better. Stop. That looks good. All right. You should show Bob Benny that. Yeah, that looks really bad, but it's, you know, the right idea. The negative, the positive, wow, my hands. The positive to the negative. So, what are we, what are we shocking at? Oh, wait, why is that shocking me? All right, this is gonna be uncomfortable, isn't it? This is probably gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it works. Nice. Well, that's actually not bad. 4.4. Now, let's see what happens if we do this. Let me see, let me see, let me see. 6.5. That'll take you to the bank. Hold on a second. Oh, I, I forgot. Hey, try it again. What? Ow. Wow. What is it now? <laughs> That's not going to feel good. 10.3. 10.3? Yeah. 
That's yeah. not gonna feel good. <laughs> so we just need to make sure. See, that's why that's one of the. That's Steve why we don't want these. Uh, we don't want this situation on our corners. We need something more secure because if those slip around on the <laughs> Dang, green bar, man. grounded on the ground, it's nine point five. All right, what does that say? Ten point eight. So now we know we should be expecting nine plus. Well, I mean roughly within re we shouldn't be expecting five. Or six. We so if, if we're depending on how big it is. I mean, yeah. On a DC system, it can drop pretty substantially. I would imagine. I don't think it's going to drop that much. How long does that battery last on one of these things? Jordan says that they'll, you know, they've had batteries out there for like a month and a half. Right? Really? Jordan? Oh, me? You are Jordan. Who the uh, Jordan? <laughs> there's too many Jordans in my life. I don't know. They check. I think they swap them out every few weeks. Yeah. Touch one of those strands, Sam. I put a volt meter on it, man. I, I'm just curious. Touch, touch, just touch one. No, why? I'm not saying touch both of them. They are. They're shocking. I tested them. I'm just them. wondering if they're gonna keep, you know, raccoons and possums yep. and stuff out. Will it, they? It was at like six. It was at nine thousand volts. The bottom strand. I'm not touching. Without it. anything. That's stronger than the perimeter fence. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I would have been more inclined to touch the fence if you didn't have that smile on your face. <laughs>